The push for a pause in the fighting in the Middle East is growing. President Biden has confirmed he requested a pause this week as new details emerge about a potential plan to secure the release of more hostages being held by Hamas. In the meantime, in a rare move on Capitol Hill, the House voted to censure Democratic Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib, who expressed anti-Israeli views. A censure does not hold power beyond a public condemnation of the member's behavior and does not deny them any privileges in Congress or expel them. Almost all of the constitutional amendments passed during yesterday's election, except for Proposition 13, which would have increased the mandatory retirement age for state judges. Texans approved the other amendments dealing with property taxes, state parks, farming and ranching, teacher retirement, and more. To see all the election results from yesterday, just head over to our website at KSA.com. For the first time in the Texas legislature's 176-year history, a fourth special session has been called after lawmakers did not complete Governor Greg Abbott's special agenda in the allotted time. Abbott is yet again pushing for legislation to establish a school voucher-like program and increase border security. Lawmakers are expected to convene again this afternoon. Ivanka Trump is testifying today in her father's civil fraud trial as the final witness for the New York Attorney General's office. While she is no longer a defendant in the case, she is still likely to be pressed about her role securing financing for properties when she worked at the Trump Organization, as well as the valuation of an apartment she leased in one of her father's Manhattan buildings. Her testimony comes after former President Donald Trump's testimony on Monday in which he badgered the judge and the attorney general with political attacks. Nine days and counting. That's how long Congress has to prevent a potential government shutdown. And so far, House Republicans don't have a concrete plan to keep things running. Speaker Mike Johnson and GOP lawmakers went through a series of ideas yesterday, including a short-term spending bill through January 19th. But if some Republicans in the House are against any sort of short-term spending bill, Johnson, we need Democratic support, and that might be an uphill battle. New research shows that this is the least affordable housing market since 1984 when Ronald Reagan was president. The report from the Intercontinental Exchange shows that more of a person's household income goes toward paying a mortgage than in recent years. High interest rates and the high cost for housing are to blame. The trend over the past 35 years was that housing would cost about 25% of a family's income. It now stands at nearly 41%. United Airlines is bracing for a record-breaking Thanksgiving travel period. They're the first of the major U.S. airlines to release its forecast for the upcoming holiday season. The airline says it'll carry more passengers this Thanksgiving holiday than ever before and predicts the travel period to be longer than ever this year, too, spread over 11 days. United expects the Sunday after Thanksgiving to be busiest. Ways is helping drivers avoid crash-prone areas. The Maps app is now offering crash history alerts. The notifications are based on reports from Ways users and AI analysis. Just in time for Black Friday, Google has new ways for shoppers to find deals. The additions include a deals destination page on the main search platform. There are also new shopping features for Chrome, including the latest deals and discounts on previously searched items. And that is today's Nine at Night. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.